You may be wondering, why do I need somebody else to show me how to set up a Google Analytics account? There are probably thousands of videos out there, so I can just YouTube it and probably get a thousand results. But I figure I want to just make 100% sure that everybody on my channel has one set up, knows how to do it, and can follow along a lot easier. So let's get to it. In a few minutes, you have your Google Analytics account set up. We'll all be on the same page. So just real quick before we begin, for the purposes of this video, we're only going to be setting up a Google Analytics account just so we can get the Google Analytics ID. That's the ID that we're going to need for Google Tag Manager to set up some of the rest of our videos and to just make sure that we're all on the same page. So we're not going to go into detail. Just bear that in mind. We will go back into some of these options later in the future where we are going to need to go into more details. For now, we just want to get that ID number. So you're going to click on the create account blue button on the top left corner of the screen. Here you're going to name your account. We're going to use weekly eats because that is the name of our website we're trying to track. I'm going to click next. We're going to choose the web option because we are measuring a website. It's going to make sense. Hit next. And then we got to, what is the name of the website? The name of our website is weekly eats. So we're going to choose that. And because our website is ultra secure, we're going to choose the HTTPS option. I'm going to type in www.weeklyeats.com and then we're going to select an industry. Obviously it's a food blog so we're going to choose food and drink. Ooh, food. Food and drink. Select that. And then we're going to select the time zone. We are located in the New York time zone, the Eastern Standard Time. So we're going to choose that and we're going to create. We're going to accept the lengthy Terms of service, if you are, you know, picky, make sure you read through it. Make sure you agree to everything that they say. Click I accept. And that's essentially it. That's all you need to do to set up the account. You're going to have the Google Analytics, Universal Analytics tracking number on the top left hand corner. So that's the number that we're going to be using moving forward. So that's it. That's all it takes. It's actually pretty easy as you can see. You already have your account. You're ready to go.